Hello, I'm Derek Culchin. I'm a principal mechanical engineer at Argonne National Laboratory. And today I'll be giving you a tour of the Mechanisms Engineering Test Loop, or METAL, which is housed in Building 308 on campus. It's a facility that's dedicated to advancing equipment and instrumentation for use in sodium fast reactors. We'll take a trip downstairs to show some of the piping systems and vessels, namely our dump tank, which is behind this retaining wall. It's where we store the sodium when it's not being used in a test vessel for experimentation. All the vessels, such as this dump tank, are constructed of 304 stainless steel, while all of our piping is 316, shown here. All of the heating is provided with electric resistance heaters, which you can see a piping uh, mineral insulated cable heater here, which heats our piping system as it's able to trace the profile of the ISO. We have the means to filter out sodium oxides through by flowing sodium through the cold trap. And we also have a plugging meter behind this support column here, which allows us to monitor the levels of sodium oxides solubilized in the bulk sodium. We also have a electromagnetic pump and annular induction, annular linear induction pump dedicated to flowing sodium through these test vessels, which you can see some of the two of the test vessels protrude through the mezzanine deck plate. We also have 52 electropneumatic valves to control sodium flow as well as the argon cover gas. These are all stainless steel welded bellows valves and the piping system is designed to B31.3 ASME uh, process piping code for category M fluid. And so due to the large operating temperature of up to 538 Celsius, it's allowed to thermally, it floats. So it's allowed to thermally and expand and contract on these uh, uh, piping supports. So we have a pipe shoe with a spring can shown there and it actually grows about five inches in this direction over this way. Next, if you'll bear with me, we're just gonna take a trip upstairs. Here we show the expansion tank. This provides some volume for the sodium to expand to as we change our temperatures and also provides a relative sodium height with inductive level sensors as well as differential pressure level sensors uh, to measure the height of the sodium in this expansion tank, which can be translated to the height in our test vessels. Shown here, we have two 18 inch test vessels, which are nominal 50 gallons. And we have one that is vacant with a blind flange. And we have another that has an experiment in it, which is the gear test assembly is being used to examine the um, surface wear on two gear, two mating gears that are driving and one resisting um, to see the how well they um, hold up essentially in a molten sodium environment. This calendar year, we intend to test another experiment called the thermal hydraulic experimental test apparatus, which will be installed in vessel four here. That experiment mimics a pool type sodium fast reactor and will be used to validate um, CFD code with its high fidelity instrumentation, as well as run uh, accident scenarios. Lastly, all of the vessels have their own dedicated argon gas supply, as well as their argon vent. Um, so and also um, have their own dedicated sodium supply in return so that um, they operate independently of one another. So that is the tour of the mechanisms engineering test loop. And it is available is currently still operating in a molten state and is available for uh, test article insertion effectively anything that can fit inside of these test vessels, uh, we can test. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you enjoy this tour.